Hi guys, welcome to Bargains with Love. My name is Lana and today I have a what sold video for you. I haven't done a what sold video in about the month and so I think it's time to do one. So today I am going to talk to you about what sold in the month of August. Today is August 29th so we're almost done with August but I decided today I'm going to show you all of my sales on eBay that were $15 or more. <music> So if you're familiar with my channel and if you have been watching my videos, you know that we recently started selling men's plus size clothing that we buy by the pound. And I also got several mystery boxes like apparel type of boxes from Goodwill. So a lot of my items that sold were those clothing items. The average sales price is pretty low for us. It's between $12 and $13. So anything that sold for $15 or more, that's good for us. So I wish our average sales price was higher, but it's not. So I just want to show you what sold for at least $15 or more during the month of August. And in this video, you will see that a lot of items that sold were the ones that came from the Goodwill apparel boxes and also from the clothing that we buy by the pound. But also this month, we had several items that sold that I got at Catch and Deals. I haven't talked about Catch and Deals in a while. So today they're going to have an honorable mention in my video just because several items that sold were items that I got from them. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sales. If you like to watch what sold videos, please go ahead and hit the like button right now and go ahead and comment down below and let me know if you like me to do these weekly or monthly. I would really appreciate your feedback on that. So let's go ahead and take a look at what sold. All right, so let's take a look at this first sale. This is a pair of women's etro pants. This is a made in Italy. They were size 46 and they sold for $40. So that was excellent. And these came in one of those apparel boxes from Goodwill, where I think my average cost of goods in those boxes um, is usually about $3 or between $3 and $4. I can't remember for this one in particular. So next one is this Brooks Brothers pullover sweater. And this was a size XXL, 100% wool. And this sweater came in the clothing uh, bag where we buy clothes by the pound from the supplier that we found. So this was a really good sale as well. Sold for $27.90 plus shipping. So we charge shipping on pretty much everything. Um, the only time you might see something where we didn't charge shipping and that's because we forgot to change it. Um, we, our goal is to charge shipping on everything we sell in our eBay store. Okay, this item right here is a pair of J. Crew men's pants, size 31, 32. Um, they're kind of this um, khaki green color. And these pants, we accepted the best offer. And I think they sold for about $15. It doesn't say here, but uh, if my memory serves me right, they sold for $15. So these came in the jeans bag that we got from the supplier. We got uh, one bag of jeans by the pound, and that's, that's the source where these pants came from. Uh, this pair of Steve's jeans, men's size 3630, sold for $15. These also came from the jeans bag that we got by the pound. And I actually wasn't familiar with this brand before. I didn't know Steve's jeans, but um, apparently it's a decent brand. Uh, this pair of Tommy Bahamas men's shorts, size 38, sold for $15. And I believe I picked up these shorts at the thrift store. So this was one of my finds, sold for $15. Uh, this Women's Caribbean Joe uh, Hawaiian shirt sold for best offer accepted. I believe we accepted an offer of $17 on this one. Uh, this one came from a Goodwill apparel box. Okay, this shirt also came from a Goodwill apparel box. This is Adidas Celtic um, FC uh, jersey. 
size 2XL sold for $17.90 and um, this actually sold twice it sold once and then the person canceled it we relisted it and somebody else bought it okay this pair of Levi's jeans size 42 32 I believe these came either in the uh, jean bag that we got by the pound or in that uh, plus size mixed men's clothing bag so these sold for $19.27 then this Ralph Lauren men's uh, big size 2XB shirt uh, sold for $21.99. It also came from one of, one of those mixed uh, men's plus size clothing bags. So that was a good sale. Uh, Vineyard Vines men's shirt 2XLT sold for $19.90. This was a really good sale as well. Uh, of course, you probably know that men's sizes that are um, big and tall sell really well. And Vineyard Vines and OK brand, it doesn't always sell fast. But um, when it's a size like this, then um, that's always a plus. And um, we we were actually getting lowball offers on this shirt from people. Uh, we were counter offering, and then somebody came along and bought it for the full asking price. So. I love that. Don't you all love that? Nice people when they just buy for the asking price. Uh, so then next we have these two L.L. Bean men's shirts. Here's one and here's another one. So this was the same customer they bought that bought both of them and they made an offer. They messaged us and they told us that they were interested in both of them. Uh, so we went ahead and accepted their offer of $8 each because they will buy more than one and so yep they they got these two shirts always like when somebody buys several shirts all at once uh, so these definitely came from one of those um, men's plus size clothing bags this shirt Burberry London men's shirt came in the Goodwill apparel box I was really excited when I got it because it's a designer brand Burberry uh, but unfortunately, this particular, you know, style of print does not sell for a lot of money, this particular pattern. Um, so we had it listed for $24.90 and somebody offered us $20 right away. This shirt sold very fast, but um, we went ahead and accepted an offer of $20 on it. Next, we have this bark control collar sold for $10.50. I apologize. I don't know why I put it in here because I promised you all these sales were going to be $15 and over. So this got in here by mistake, but this came from Catch and Deals and one of those mystery boxes. Okay, this sale right here um, is a pair of shoes by the company that's called Hot Chocolate. Uh, bon Voyage Women's Mary Jane Shoes, and I got these at Catch and Deals. I bought it from them. I, I bought several pairs of different styles of this hot chocolate shoes from them, and they all sold, but this pair, um, I think we forgot to list it, and it was just sitting somewhere for a while, and then we found that we realized it wasn't listed, so we went ahead and put it on eBay, um, and I paid about $25 for these, uh, it took a while for them to sell, but they finally did sell for $39.50. Then this uh, wireless headphone set sold for $21. This one also came from Catch and Deals and one of their electronics boxes. So finally sold. And then this Dragon Ball Z throw blanket. Um sold for $17 and it comes in this ball um we couldn't take a good picture of it unfortunately maybe that's why it, I mean they're selling we got several of them from Catch and Deal so this is another one of those items I paid $3.99 uh for this blanket and so I got several of them we've been selling them and this one sold for $17 and then here's the last item that I wanted to show you guys today. This is um, Carhartt men's large size, size 50 by 34 um, workwear coveralls. 
and it says it's sold for 60 but actually sold for 50 I sent them an offer and they accepted my offer of $50 I bought these from catch and deals for $35 so there's a bib overalls bought them brand new from catch and deals for $35 our profit on these was about $19 so that was not too bad but it took a long time for these to sell several months so that was the last sale I wanted to highlight today for the month of August. All right, th that was it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. If you're new here, I'm really glad you found my channel. And I hope you like the educational content. And please comment down below and give me any ideas of what else you would like to see on my channel. I really appreciate your support. If you like to support my channel by buying me a coffee, there will be a link in the description down below where you can uh, buy me a coffee. I am not monetized on YouTube yet, so any type of support would be appreciated. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week.